In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And a warm welcome to you if you are watching online to St George's Anglican Church, Paris, uh, on this uh, Tuesday the 3rd of November. Uh, when um, we, the, in the Church of England, uh, we celebrate Richard Hooker, and in the Universal Church, we celebrate the first um, black saint canonised uh, uh, since um, the Great Schism, Martin of Porres. Um, Richard Hooker died in the year 1600. He has often been described as the father of Anglicanism not so much because uh, he remained firmly rooted in medieval the uh, theology uh, as well as being a reformed Christian, but because he sought to describe uh, what in the 19th century uh, became known as the via media, the middle path. Um, I was, um, uh, as a child, um, Full of prejudices, many of whom, many of which I uh, continue to nurture and nourish. Uh, and one of these is that some subset of Christians can be described as baddies, uh, and these people are those against whom Richard Hooker wrote most consistently. And it might be equally comforting to regard the elections in the United States of America. Um, as um, between goodies and baddies. Jesus reminds us, however, that he is the way and the truth as well as the life. Uh, and that, um, uh, as someone famously said, the arc of justice uh, um, goes towards, uh, the arc of truth goes towards justice. Um, we know that uh, in the end, in the end, goodies and baddies will be recognised by how they lived the life, the risen life of Christ our Saviour. So, supported by the prayers of Richard Hooker and Martin de Porres, let us offer this Eucharist today, especially for the elections in the United States, and for all those who seek to live lives of truth and in today's world. So in sorrow for our sins and with faith in his mercy, let us turn to the Lord, for with him there is mercy and plenteous redemption. May your loving mercy come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your word. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light to my path. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. O oh, let your mercy come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God of peace, the bond of all love, who in your Son Jesus Christ have made the human race your inseparable dwelling place. After the example of your servant Richard Hooker, give grace to us, your servants, ever to rejoice in the true inheritance of your adopted children, and to show forth your praises now and for ever, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form, <coughs> taking the form of a slave being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God also highly
highly exalted him and gave him a name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The response in the song, I will proclaim your name among the people. I will proclaim your name among the people. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. O seed of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, O seed of Israel. I will Lord, proclaim your name among the people. <coughs> For he has not despised nor abhorred the suffering of the poor, neither has he hidden his face from them. But when they cried to him, he heard them. I will proclaim your name among the people. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. I will perform my vows in the presence of those that fear you. I will proclaim your name among the people. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. Their heart shall live forever. I will proclaim your name among the people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and return to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall bow before him. I will proclaim your name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the dinner guests said to Jesus, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land and I must go out and see it. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am going to try them out. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have just been married, and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to the master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town, and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is truly right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he has named his church the salt of the earth and light of the world, 
a city set on a hill which cannot be hidden. Within this faithful company, your servant Richard Hooker became a learned teacher through the gifts of the Holy Spirit of Christ, that all might welcome his teaching as your gift, a beacon on the path of holiness that leads to eternal life. And now we celebrate his memory, we join with angels and archangels and all who have served you on earth and worship you now in heaven to raise our voices and proclaim your glory forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, Virgin Mother of God, George, Genevieve, Richard Hooker, Martin de Porridge, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. <laughs>
Let us pray. O God of truth, whose wisdom set her table and invited us to eat the bread and drink the wine of the kingdom, help us to lay aside all foolishness and to, to live and walk in the way of insight that we may come with Richard Hooker to the eternal feast of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God grant you grace to be good servants of Christ Jesus, nourished on the words of the faith and on the sound teaching that you have followed. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks.